from giant Uber and Taxify to relatively unknown mobile transport applications, the number of online taxi service providers in the country has been increasing, giving travelers options to choose from. With the increase also comes growing customer claims of harassment and overpricing. Our reporter Abu Bakr Abdullahi spoke to Alex Maura, Taxify's country manager. Let's listen in. With the entry of mobile-aided applications that aid transport also comes a host of claims on individual brands such as Uber and Taxify. So how are these individual companies responding to these? Joining me now is Alex, who is the country manager for Taxify. Alex, thanks for talking to us. Almost two years of presence in the Kenyan market. What is your general assessment? Uh, the market has been extremely responsive, uh, very vibrant. Uh, we can see the definite need uh, in terms of uh, innovations in the, in the transport industry mm -hmm. uh, in partnerships with uh, other players in the market we found that this has been a very uh, promising market mm -hmm. and how beneficial has this been to kenyan drivers i mean it's phenomenal uh, the amount of jobs uh, simply created uh, by by this uh, facility um, sort of digital, uh, a digitized facility that allows you to hail a cab mm -hmm. uh, at the top of a button mm -hmm. uh, has allowed very many Kenyans to be able to just uh, come on board, mm -hmm. uh, just have an ID, mm -hmm. uh, have a driver's license, mm -hmm. uh, have your background check done, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. if you have a there is often the complaint of prices fluctuating. What causes the fluctuating and differences in prices, yet the distance are the same? We have to be awake and alert to market forces. Uh, we are constantly monitoring our numbers, monitoring uh, driver earnings, uh, monitoring uh, the response of the market to, to price changes. Uh, and in effect, uh, with a very um, sure understanding of what value we're driving ultimately mm -hmm. to the driver in terms of earnings, mm -hmm. uh, then we're able to adjust uh, in response to market forces. Mm -hmm. I'd love to read you a comment from one of your clients who says, and I quote, I used Taxify from Gulana Road to Manyanja Road. I paid 2,050 shillings. Normally I will pay from 800 shillings. I think I was overcharged. W what leads to situations of a client being overcharged? One of the uh, greater uh, instances of, of overcharges or undercharges, mm -hmm. uh, because they do happen as well, mm -hmm. is where a driver's handset um, develops a GPS error mm -hmm. or a GPS issue. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in such instances, we expect that the rider raise an issue uh, where they find that the price is uh, irregular or where even the driver finds that the, the price is not quite uh, what they uh, hoped it would be or what was promised in the initial price estimate. Mm -hmm. And in that event, where we receive a report, uh, we call the driver in, inspect the handset and make sure that the GPS is absolutely in order and where it does not match the standard, that then we request that the driver um, uh, change his handset uh, to be able to operate on our platform. And how, how often does this error happen? Just, and just to, just to emphasize, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's always recourse, mm -hmm. and I am a firm, always recourse. Mm -hmm. Whenever you find that there's an undercharge or an, or an overcharge, mm -hmm. speak to us. We will always refund the seed amount. Uh, which begs back to my question, how often does this error happen? Uh, it is not very regular, uh, regularly occurring. Mm -hmm. um, one of which uh, the reasons is because, uh, again, as I affirmed, mm -hmm. where somebody reports um, an irregularity in pricing, mm -hmm. that then we have to call the driver to our offices to inspect the handsets. Mm -hmm. And where the handset does not meet our standards, that mm -hmm. then the driver is blocked until he's able to get mm -hmm. uh, a phone that is, is able to function on our platform. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that then the case is reduced. Taxify currently is present in Nairobi and Mombasa. Can you preempt to us what the future of Taxify in the market looks like? Yeah, I know we uh, would love to know. It's a, it's a constant question. Um, clients from different cities constantly are asking us and sending emails asking us whether or when rather uh, would be visiting the, the cities and setting up a uh, shop as well there. Again, we remain very alert, awake, uh, and very excited to, to engage the markets. There are different cities that present different types of needs uh, within the sort of transportation. Uh, Namely, what will those cities be? I mean, not to uh, give out names, but some of the cities that draw definite interest uh, is Nakuru. Uh, Eldoret is also a very vibrant market. Uh, Kisumu as well, they're doing phenomenally on the border, border front. Uh, perhaps they could, they could, we could assist them uh, develop the industry as we did here in Nairobi and are continuing to do. Alex, thanks for talking to us here on KTN News. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, that has been Alex, the country manager of Taxify, one of the mobile applications that, one of the leading mobile applications in terms of 
ease in transportation. Ashley, back to you.